Roast and Toast and Ruby Tuesdays. Wow, it actually is Tuesday as well. Well, that worked out. What's poppin' my portobello mushrooms? I hope you're doing well. I have been waiting forever to film this video, but this morning I woke up feeling just the right amount of spicy for the optimal roast. You know, we just remodeled the studio. We now have plants. We just painted this door yesterday that was jacked up when we moved in. Why am I painting the door even though I just rent this place? I don't know. I don't really ask questions anymore because I have a roach calling downstairs. Hi, how are you? That I use to feed my bearded dragon. So if my landlord's watching this, please don't evict me. <laughs> but anyway, I woke up in a pretty good, fun mood. Put the weasel hat on, feeling cute, my dilator. And I thought today is the perfect day to obliterate your Pokemon set on. No, I'm just kidding. I just want to check out your Pokemon collections or your Pokemon rooms, your personal studios that you have for Pokemon. I am so excited. This is the first time I'm doing a video like this. So welcome to round number one. And his name is John C. I guess if it goes okay, we'll do another one, but we shall see. We're going to be rating your Pokemon setups on a scale from zero to five stars. And by stars, I mean lick -a tongues So let's just get into this. Ooh, little beardy, little nudies wants to join us. It's so cute, her feet are shedding. So it looks like she's wearing socks. <laughs> Look at those little booties. All right, I have like a million of these to go through. So bear with me here, but starting out first one. Look at this epic gamer setup. We get some meatloaf. Snorlax lover, I can see. Very nice, very nice. The only Snorlax I really have and vibe with is my my jank arm Snorlax. Taco won him from one of those claw machine apps, okay? He looks kind of all right from this end. And then it's just, oh my God, what happened? <laughs> anyway, I like this setup. Uh, this case is really beautiful. I love white PC cases so much. Also, nice touch there. I see what you did there, PTCGO. I know that couldn't have been easy to time too, because you gotta like open it and then also take the picture at the same time. How'd you do that? Is someone hiding under the table? Nani? <laughs> well, I guess you could have just opened like a picture on the desktop too. It doesn't look like that though. It really looks like they like opened the game. I don't know, props though, props for that. I feel like I should add a lick a tongue just for that. Organization, mm, two out of five stars over here. Could be better, could be worse, but I like this. It's cute, it's cozy. I like the epic gamer vibes it's giving me. I'm gonna give this a three out of five. Actually, no, 3.5 out of five because of that PTCGO screen cap right there and the Snorlax, I like him too. Nice. Ooh, cubes, you know I like cubes. I dig this, okay, okay. We got a ginormous Mew, is that an official Pokemon plush? Where'd you get that? That's real cute, I like that one. This, this is nightmare fuel. I, I don't know what it is. I have the Bulbasaur Jumbo Pop and I like him, but the Pikachu one for some reason is terrifying to me. That is just nightmare fuel. Like, I don't think I could go to sleep at night with this in my room. <laughs> it's like having the Chucky doll across the room from you. <sighs> I can't fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Holy smokes. Yo, props for putting a hat on the Charmander drip squad style. I love the organization of the Pokeballs here. Here's the studio, how to post and hopes get roasted by booze reviews. <gasps> oh snap, now we get a roast. All right. Um, um, That's a pretty gray wall you got there. No, I actually like this studio. Like, I can't even really find anything to roast besides the Nightmare Fuel Pikachu. So, three out of five lickies. All right, oh my God. The dream. Holy smokes, that is pink. Okay, the sparkles plus 10 points right there on this, you know, random point system I'm making up as we go. The Pikachus, amazing. So many cute little Pikachus. Oh my God. I like this filter too. It kind of like muted the Pikachu yellow. So he's not just like a sunshine beam like he is back there. <laughs> Everything about this setup is so aesthetically pleasing. Like especially the shelves, how the shelves are laid out and all the plushies on them gathered together. The squad up here, you know, double shrimp combo on the Sylveons. The Gengar in the seat, just chilling. I like how you blocked the miscellaneous clutter down here with the Gengar. 
props. Very good job there. I don't even know it's a roast in this. The setup is so beautiful though. All of the color matching is goals. So I'm gonna have to give this one a four out of five lickies. I just, I gotta, I gotta. Ooh, the first one with multiple pictures. Oh my God, what is that? <laughs> Why does he look like this? Oh my, oh my God, what is in the background? Staring into my soul, I feel like I'm in danger right now. All right, I'm digging it, I'm di What is this? Why does this Pikachu look like a raisin? Uh, <laughs> everything about this is so funny to me, I don't know why. Okay, okay, squat. So this is just details of the shelves. Okay, so we got like some stacked up cards here. We got plushies, we got ETBs. This, I, I still can't get over this. I don't know what it is, <laughs> this Charizard. I just think it's hilarious. Oh, he's got a hole in his wing too. Nudies keeps crawling around and knocking stuff over. So she's just on her bed now, chilling. All right, so I guess this actually says my new shelf setup I just made has vintage plushes. So this must be a vintage Charizard, which I actually 100% believe because all the vintage plushies that they used to make did look kind of awkward, especially some of the Pikachu ones. <laughs> Wait, how is that a Pikachu? So that's actually really cool. This still scares me. I don't even know what that is in the back, but it's, it. I think it was just because in that one picture, he's just like lurking <laughs> his facial expression. But also the VHS tapes, ooh, I only have one of those. So that's pretty sweet. That's actually really cool to have. In, uh, in a collection, so I dig that. I really like this shelf. I think it's pretty well uh, organized and put together. It looks like it's just chilling in like a, a bonus room or something like that. Three out of five lickies. Let's go into this one. Oh, that's cute. Super high tech. Beep, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> All right, whoa, this is like a closet. That's interesting. You know, I actually used to sleep in something similar to this. That sounds super weird out of context, but it's actually not even out of context. I really used to sleep in a closet. Like I used to live in a closet. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, yes, this is cute. All right, all right. This is where I began my YouTube channel. Wait, what? How did you film in here? This looks too small to go into. I am confused. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh wow, so maybe it is bigger than I thought it was because it has like a little, it's almost like a desk in here. It looks so much smaller for some reason. I don't understand. Ooh, codes, baby! Wow, I feel like props to you for working in such a small, cramped little space. Like, that is super cool that you kind of started your whole platform in just a tiny little room. That's really awesome. We had a five lickies. All right, next up. Ooh, this is kind of a larger setup here. Two pretty big shelves is what it looks like. Are these pins over here? That's cool. Wait, how did you pin them into... The wood. I'm confused. Oh, snap. Whoa. Oh my gosh. You just like ripped the thing off. Wait, I am so confused. Did you cut a thing and then put it onto... Like onto... Wow, my mind is blown right now. <laughs> like, did you cut a piece of cork board and like put it onto the shelf and then put pins on it? If so, that is super unique. I have never seen that before. I really, really like that actually. Some cards here on little stands. I always like when people go the extra step and get stands for their cards because it just adds so much to the look of a display. So, oh snap, the Guzzlord, the Guzzlord plush. I rarely see this plush in anyone's setup, including my own. So I feel like I'm gonna give you Licky just because of that plush. The voice actor for Guzzlord, he's been through it, okay? Oh, yeah! oh my God, Noodles is literally underneath her bed right now, look. Hi, how are you? So I'm actually going just for the Guzzlord uh, and the pin thing. That's four out of five lickies right there. That That's a good one. I really liked that setup. A little bit of a smaller setup, just a couple shelves here. Oh my goodness, this looks like one of my drawings. <laughs> Why are we still here? Just to suffer. I, I bet you like a, a small child did this too, so. 
<sighs> that says a lot about my my drawings. Anyway, uh, <laughs> what are these? Is this a Japanese product or something with these Pikachu boxes? Because that looks sick. I know this one is obviously the box I actually never got. I really, really wanted this box and for some reason I could never land one of them. So super jelly about that. I like all the storage. We got magazines, we got binders. Just because this is such a smaller setup than the ones we've been looking at though, I can't, I feel like I can't give it three because I feel like it's not on the same level. <sighs> Although there is a Bulbasaur planner with a party hat. Ugh. Three out of five leggies. <laughs> Nudies, why are you being crazy? Nudies, you've changed since you put on your socks. <laughs> Let's see. Oh God. Oh God. Two out of five. <laughs> that is so scary. Oh my gosh. There are so many pops. Wow. Look at the mime one. Wow. I haven't even seen this one. That is also kind of nightmare fuel. Um, I like how this Umbreon is just like, why am I here? Yo, A plus, A plus here. I think this is the most amount of Pokemon Pops I've ever seen. So that is amazing. Look, they even have like a shiny Charmander. Wow. I like how these Squirtles look so different too. It's like the real Squirtle. And then when someone like copies your homework, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's what it is, dude. Yo, what is this? Who made this? I feel like this is probably a fire hazard, but... We'll just ignore that for now. Um, <laughs> bottom half is more pops. Okay, so that was the top and the bottom. It's just like a full shelf of pops. What? Oh, you filthy cheater. You know, I can't roast you when you have my signed card uh, on your shelf. That is so cute. I love that. Wow, that's actually really adorable. <laughs> Why is noodles creeping right now? <laughs> so Oh, look at that, the binders. Wow, that is so many binders, actually. Wow, this actually looks sweet in the background there, that shelf from afar that's like, you a hardcore pokey fan right there. And then more nightmare fuel here. This is so cute, I, I, I love it. I love everything about it. That is, uh, just because this is the most amount of pops I've ever seen for Pokemon, four out of five Nikki's. Okay, here we go, how are people doing this? Wait, do you just stab them into the shelf? Stab them in there? Is it the type of shelf? Are these rubber bands? Whoa, buddy. I guess that's okay because they're in top loaders. So that's, oh God, wait, what? Wait, those are not in top load. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's like number one way to just ruin your cards. Wait, why would you do this? What? I know I'm about to get destroyed because I use elastics for my cards. Hey, Harold, at least you recognize the problem. That is the first step to to fixing it, all right? <laughs> that is horrible. Like, even if you're not gonna grade the cards or anything, even playing with the cards, like, it just, it'll warp your, I, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> all right, okay, okay. So again, this is, kind. oh, this is cool. Oh, is that Snap and Stadium? That's kind of nice. That's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing there on that shelf. Ooh, I like the collection of the green mons. What's going on here? <laughs> Why does this remind me of the sloth meme where he's like whispering in her ear? <laughs> oh, look at these with the blue. I like the color organization of the plushes. That's actually how I like to sort my plushies too, usually is by colors. Um, it looks like these are the jumbo cards. That's pretty cool. I guess that's just thrown in there at the end. I, you know, just, just, Harrow, just for this, for the elastics thing, for the rubber bands around like unsleeved cards. Like, I don't even understand why you would do that, though. Like, I don't get it. Because you have these ones just in a stack, you know? Oh no, they have rubber bands too! <sighs> All right, Harrow, good job. You just earned our first two out of five. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it with the rubber bands. Noodles can't do it either. All right, let's keep it going. Maybe we'll get some more two out of five lickies. Are these Barbie dolls on ATVs? Wait, I am so confused. <laughs> okay, wait, let's see. I hope I'm not too late for booze reviews. My display kind of functions as a garage too. You gotta flex the custom Lego. Wait, so these are custom Legos that you made? Oh, I see it now. They are Legos. 
but you just put Barbie dolls on. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it creeps me out. The Legos are cool though. Like I'm not even weirded out by Legos. If I walked into someone's house and they just had a ton of Legos, I'd be like, oh, that's pretty chill, you know? It's how you spend your time, okay, what else? We all have our hobbies, you know? I mean, people are probably weirded out when they walk into my studio, they're like, uh, <laughs> yo, what? But the Barbie dolls, I think, is what weirds me out. I also just don't really like dolls like that. I think it's just so random that it just threw me off so much. And uh, for some reason, even this, like, you see this and you're like, oh, that's kind of cute. But it looks like the Decidueye is holding the Rowlet hostage. I don't know. Maybe I just have a cynical view now on this whole thing. Uh, I'm ruined. I'm ruined by this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, this is a thing. Wait. What? Wait, is this a thing? Is this like a whole, a whole archetype that I don't know about? Like Barbie dolls on vehicles with Pokemon? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Yo, you know what? A plus for showing me something I have never seen before. Even though Barbie dolls personally creep me out, props to you for having such an interesting archetype here. I'm gonna say three out of five here <laughs> for, for just blowing my mind. I love this. All right, here we go. I feel like this is another fire hazard. Oh no, wait, these are shelves. I still feel like it's a fire hazard. I thought it was all stacked on top of each other, but they are shelves. Oh, that's cute. Wow, that's really adorable, actually. I dig it. <laughs> this, uh, you know what this reminds you of? Oh, when Taco and I went to Tokyo, there was a claw machine where you could win these, I forgot the names of them, but they're these giant little like whale plushies. And he got so close to winning this thing. And this just brought back those memories for me. That's that's all this was. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of sad now, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we got more sealed pops. Boom, boom, sealed pops, the sparkly ones. I had never seen those before, so that's really cool. I don't know where these like little sparkly ones came from. Um, I'm just gonna say, I really like this Charmander. That's really cute. But something about this, like I just look at it and I'm like, too much. Too much, my eyeballs. I still don't think it's like two out of five status. So we're just gonna go 2.5 out of five lickies. Boom. Okay, okay. So we got some Gengars here. Wait, there's no, there's no other picture. Shiny Shamu, what are you doing? <laughs> now I do like Gengar Mimikyu, but. Negative seven lickies. All right, oh, more pops. I have never seen this many Pokemon pops. Maybe I'm just like not in that realm for some reason. Like I see pops sometimes at the store, but now, oh my gosh, stop. Wait, is this like the Pokemon equivalent to the race car bed? Your bed is a Pikachu. Wait, Sammy, is this your actual bed? Because number one, that's dedication. Number two, bold strategy. The dream room, I love it. Look how happy this Detective Pikachu is. I like how this score bunny is just smushed too. He's like, ow, I cannot fit. And the Sobble's just like, what the? I'm gonna give this 3.5 um, out of five lickies just because I can't believe someone actually has a Pikachu bed. I love it, I love it. All right, heading into, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Stop, I love this already. Oh my gosh, Kirby Curbs, amazing, amazing so far. Love the shirt. I mean, we do have Nightmare Fuel in the back. I guess people really like this, this pop for some reason. <laughs> Stop it! Oh, it's so cute. Okay, we got some more seal. What is this, what? What, is that just a skin? The Pikachu Switch skin, I've never seen that before. That's cool. Oh my gosh, so many pops. Yo, you have this whole plush collection. I don't have a single one of these plushies. It's like one of those collections where their eyeballs like match the color of them. I dig that, so many pops here. Nightmare Fuel with his other Nightmare Fuel Pikachus. Oh my goodness, I love this. Kirby Curbs, also A plus for putting you in the picture too. I think that's ultra cute. I like your glasses. 
as well. I'm giving this one four out of five Lickies. Oh, here we go. Yo, what is it with this? The giant Pikachu nightmare fuel. Am I the only one who feels this way or is that scary? Here we go. I like how this is organized. I mean, we do have some uh, some fire safety hazards here. Uh, if you're reading this, drink water. Oh, that's so cute. I love that with the sleeping Pikachu. Alvi, killing it over here. Adorable setup. Very neat and organized. This Pikachu looks like he was like a balloon slowly deflating. <laughs> Super cute, Alvi. I love this. I'm gonna do a 3.5 out of 5 lickies on this one. Adorable. All right, what's next? <gasps> Wait, why did I think this was your screensaver for a second? <laughs> The super scuffed Metapod that I drew. Oh my gosh, you're just watching my video. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I was like, wait, I'm about to give you five out of five lickies just for that. But it's not, it's just my video, not the screensaver, scratch that. Here we go, baby. I do like the Animal Crossing vibes here. I'm digging this. I'm a huge Animal Crossing fan, so I love that. I also love the stickers on the PC. So cute. Got some sealed decks up here, some Pokeballs some random product. Ooh, those tins as well. Okay, so it's like half Pokemon, half random stuff, like the phone charger or whatever this is in the background. I dig it. Um, I think I'm gonna give this one a two, a two out of five. Two out of five lickies. <gasps> I painted all of the canvas paintings and plan on doing one for every type. Oh my gosh, Lynn, these are amazing. That is so cute. That is really cute and custom. Oh, the plushies as well. Plushy shelf hype uh, <laughs> figurines, the deli bird. Oh my goodness. So cute. Look at this chonky Lucario. Stop it. Why is he tiny? Oh my gosh, little baby boy. <laughs> Bro. Adorable. Wow. This setup is amazing. I love the custom art. I think that's probably the coolest thing about adding something special to you, to your setup, especially something that you spent the time, you know, curating and painting. I love it. So this one's getting a four, a four out of five lickies. I love it so much. <laughs> this is Tino's setup. Tino, what is this? What is this? Stop it. Get some help. Fire hazards, Tino. This is like Jenga. You're playing Jenga right now with, with these Pokemon products. Tino bad. A small little workspace, but a quality little workspace. And this, again, is one of my favorite posters, so. Also hand-carved Magikarp here by Tino. Squad, goals, very nice. Four out of five lickets for the ETB tower. <laughs> Okay, everybody, thank you so much for sending all these pictures in. It was actually really cool to see all of your setups, your Pokemon collections, absolutely adorable. I loved them. I'm sorry I couldn't get to all of them. Um, there were so many submitted and I did this so long ago. There was just like too many, but I'm sure we will do this again, maybe different variations of it. So thank you so much for everyone who participated. I appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.